What is up everybody, it is Doug and welcome to another edition of Spooky Villages, another brand new for 2023 Limex Spooky Town, non-exclusive to Michael's building. Can't wait to talk about this one. You know, we've talked about some different themes the last few weeks here with the new buildings, but we're going to get to something very traditional here. Here's the House of Shadows. Check this out guys, or at least the box of it. Uh, really excited to get into this one because I love me a good haunted house. Here's the House of Shadows, guys. Check this one out here. This one really needs to be lit up here in a moment to show you what it, you know, truly looks like. Uh, because you can see here, it's got a lot of these, I call it glass, or not glass, but it's supposed to be like windows in these scenes here. Uh, House of Shadows is a very appropriate name, actually, because, boy, does it play with these, uh, you know, these shadow, like, figures on the window. They really, really are what bring this thing to life when it's lit up. Uh, before we talk about it, though, just general here, the size of it, you can see here, um, pretty decent size. It's not a gigantic haunted house. It's not like the, uh, the Black Raven Manor. It's a little bit smaller than that, but it's also bigger than like the Hollow Graves. Uh, you know, Limax really has done some good haunted houses the last few years, at least I think. Now you can see the bottom of it here, guys, just really fast. That is for the batteries. This one does not come with a power source on it. Uh, pretty affordable price though. That's one of the things I guess that keeps the cost down on it, but, um, it does have a power adapter. Uh, input here. That's what I'm running mine on for the video. I did test it and everything looks fine if you're going to do the batteries. Uh, before we get into the actual review, you know, let's talk about that a little bit because it seems like Lemax is doing that more and more with a lot of pieces. Uh, I don't mind it because with me, I've got those Lemax multi adapters that you can run three buildings off of one power source. And with me, my, um, you know, my plugs the uh, in my actual power strips, those can be contested. Uh, especially when you start getting individual buildings, you know, the more you do that, individual buildings or individual accessories, because some of the bigger, bigger accessories need power too. It just takes up all the spaces on the power strip, so I actually appreciate it. And also, I guess I, I know why someone wouldn't like this, but for me, because I've got all of these power supplies, I'm fine with actually having the cost be a little bit lower. You know, a little tip, actually, if you are getting into Halloween Villages to where you think you're going to have a, a little bit of a display going on, I really would recommend picking up one of those three-wire adapters that Limax sells. It really does help out. Not only does it keep the uh, power strip, uh, you know, the plug-ins necessary down because you can power one off the three, but uh, with a lot of the buildings now that aren't coming with them, um, it's just a good thing to have, I think. So there is a positive, too, with the batteries. I know some people do like this, is that... Uh, if you're going to run batteries in your piece, you don't have to have any cords. So if you have a smaller display or one that's kind of in the middle of a table, uh, that is really helpful because it's very hard to hide cords if you don't have a display that's like against a wall or something. So I do understand why people like the power supplies, of course, because it's nice when you do have a power supply for a building uh, that comes with it so you don't have to mess with anything else. And I do understand, you know, some people, they don't have enough pieces to where they, they need all the multi-adapter stuff. But anyways, I haven't really talked about that. Uh, I, I realized, you know, as I was shooting this, so I wanted to talk about that a little bit, but it does not come with power. It comes with the battery, um, battery space under here, the battery box, or you can plug in an adapter. Here it is lit up, guys. I love this house. This one is, uh, this is on my list this year. You're going to see it almost for sure on my top buildings of the year. I absolutely love this building. Again, uh, you should know I am a massive sucker for haunted houses if you're new to this channel. Uh, I absolutely love them. I actually have a video a uh, guide to theming your village uh, for beginners. It talks about haunted houses specifically and all the you know the really good ones that both Department 56 and Lemax have done over the years. There's even been other companies that have done great haunted houses too. I mean, it's not a surprise, right, that this is a popular theme. It's, uh, you know, a Halloween village. The haunted house is really the staple, I think. Now, before talking about the lighting here, the fit and finish on this one, I think the paint job, the one on, I have here is really nice. It feels like porcelain. It doesn't feel like the plasticky, but it's kind of that thinner porcelain, not the super heavy. And that is important to talk about because you can see through like some light bleeding through uh, with all the lights that are inside of this building because it is not bulb lit, just FYI. I guess I didn't really bring that up, but it's not bulb lit. You plug it in, the lights are all internal. But with those internal lights, man, does this look awesome. So you've got kind of that pulse lighting. Uh, it's not a very heavy pulse. It's not gonna look like a dance club or something like that, but it does have an eerie pulse to it. 
and that looks killer with those silhouettes that are painted on the windows. They look beautiful. Uh, this is a very creepy one. I think that this house is a, it's a very, you know, like a, an actual scary house. You don't really have anything silly on it. Everything around it, all the details on it are, they're just spooky and they're very traditional. Of course, you have like the, you know, the ravens around it, just um, a bird bath on the front. And then really the, you know, the house itself is just kind of a boarded up old spooky house with the windows on it. In a bit that I think is very cool, that is some sort of, I, I guess we can call it like environmental storytelling. Lee Max has a scooter on this piece. It's just sitting upright. And you also have a ball up front. Very cool. I think that is implying to me that somebody, probably a kid, went in to explore. Again, I think that adds to the macabreness of this piece. I love when Lemax is a really proper scary piece, and this is one of them. So the light does bleed through a little bit on the walls. You can see here, it makes the inside of the piece uh, kind of look like that to where you can see like through the walls, a little bit of lighting. That actually kind of works on this piece because it does look like the crazy haunted house with the way that the lights are pulsating inside of it. It gives it like that extra poltergeisty feel. Now the size of this one, again, it's a little bit smaller than some of the Lemax houses that are out there, but uh, the Lemax big haunted houses, I mean, uh, just a smidge smaller though. So I think if you do want to put it in like a trick or treat lane, Department 56 style, uh, you know, your display, I think it would work very well for that because it is closer in size to that versus some of the big Lemax haunted houses. So it doesn't have a sound effects on it and it doesn't have any true animation, but I think that this is like the sweet spot for me because um, there's nothing, there's no mechanisms here to go wrong or anything, right? That's just gonna have that killer lighting on it. The lighting looks beautiful on this piece. It looks very spooky. I love when Lee Max does a good haunted house. And I'm, you know, I, I feel like I speak with some authority on that because I do know, uh, you know, I've got experience with a lot of the haunted houses uh, throughout the lines. There's a lot of the lines within Lee Max and Department 56 that I don't have a lot of pieces of or that I haven't had a lot of pieces of, uh, but haunted houses, that, the trick or treat houses and the farm, uh, but all, you know, all of those lines, I think those I have the most experience with, and I have a lot of Lemax and Department 56 haunted houses, and this is a good one. I think it's a really solid one. I like how it actually is not animated um, because you don't have to worry about it. You can just turn it on, run it always, and that lighting looks very, very scary. All right, guys, that's my review of the House of Shadows, man. That is an awesome building. I love that one. I can't wait to display that one. And, uh, you know, that can let me segue into something here. Sorry, the, the releases are going to be a little disjointed for a week or two here. I try and go every week during this part of the summer here and really through the fall. I'm actually moving right now. Uh, it's going to be awesome, though, my, my new house. I'm going to have finally the proper area to do a full-on display, to build a full-on workshop. I'm really excited, but I'm doing that here. Actually, I'm filming this in the middle of about a two-week process of it. So bear with me. I'll make sure that everything is normal again uh, when we get into the, the heart of summer when uh, Michael starts releasing all their buildings, which we don't know as the recording of this actually in late June when Michael's is gonna put their stuff on sale yet. Uh, I will do a buyer's guide whenever that information does come about and once we figure out what buildings are gonna be there. Actually, we don't know uh, as of the recording of this too if the House of Shadows is gonna be uh, at your Michael stores, but, but you can get House of Shadows at various dealers online. It's non-exclusive. Uh, absolutely love this building. I think it's gonna be a hit this year once people start getting more of them in their hands. These things are shipping now, so a lot of people do have them out there are starting to get them. But um, as we hit the real season where everybody starts really, really buying, like your July's, early August, I think the House of Shadows is going to become really popular. I love it. You're going to see it on my best of uh, the year. I uh, don't know, know what else is going to be on there really yet. Uh, cause I haven't seen a lot of stuff, but it's been a good year from what I've seen thus far. Really, really fun year, 2023. Uh, you know, some of you, and I know this because you commented on the video, some of you that just watch these videos um, because you kind of like the vibe, I guess, of the buildings, but you don't want to wade into, you know, buying these things because of the uh, the madness it leads to. Uh, and it, it can lead to that, of course. I mean, look at me. I've got a YouTube channel devoted to it. But um, it's a great madness, though. I'm not meaning to disparage it. But anyways, if you're intimidated, though, about getting into collecting, House of Shadows is a great great piece to start with. Just remember you might need a power supply if you don't want the batteries to power it. It's a great piece. I don't think it uh, breaks the bank. And uh, yeah, I, I would totally recommend this for a newbie. If you're if you're wanting to get into the hobby this year, House of Shadows is awesome because who doesn't love a good haunted house, right? So uh, if you've seen this out there, let me know what you think. Let me know some of your favorite uh, you know, haunted houses, whether it's Lee Max, Department 56 or whatever. I've got a full video devoted to haunted house discussion. I'll probably do another one just because there's just so much to talk about with it. Uh, but Lee Max has really done a great job with the haunted houses in the last few years and really like the last 10-ish years. 
I think a lot of the really classic haunted houses have been you know, released within that, um, within that range. So thank you as always to my Patreon supporters. Thank you. Uh, those of you who have purchased your village scene setters. I love seeing the pictures of those. Uh, when people start doing displays, I'm actually going to do a video of that. Uh, as of the recording of this graveyard, I think I only have one more of them left and I have, uh, around 20 of the carnival. So really, really appreciate everybody uh, helping with that. They've been fun to do. It's fun seeing them out in the wild. Very proud of that project, how it's turned out. I've loved using mine. Uh, if nothing else, I've that's what I wanted to do is create something I wanted to use. And, and for a teaser on the next video, we're going to do a little apartment hunting. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys soon.